Now in order to find out the position vector of the ship after t hours, what we need to do is first of all find the velocity vector of the ship. And that's a vector something like this. I've marked it in as v. Let me just explain. What we've got is that in four hours the ship travels from here to here, a to b. That means that I've got to divide this line up into four sections and looking at it, it looks like it's going to be a vector something like this so that I can move this uh, along the line. After one hour the ship would have moved from here to here, two hours it would have moved to there, three hours it would now be there and four hours it would be here. And Once I've got that velocity vector I can then find out how far along the line it would have moved in t hours. It would just be to multiply t with this vector. So like after four hours I just need to repeat this vector four times. One, two, three, four and I'd be here. Five hours I would be there. All right. So let's take this vector back here and we first of all need to find that velocity vector. So, how do we do that? Well, we know that the vector a to b, we found out in the first part of the question that the vector a to b was 12i plus 16j. You can see it on the diagram, 12i plus 16j. Now, what we've got to do is to divide this vector by 4 so that we get what this velocity vector is because it took 4 hours to go from there to there. So therefore we can say that the velocity vector v is going to be a quarter of the vector a to b, 12i plus 16j. And if we divide that by 4 what we get is the velocity vector is equal to 3i plus 4j. OK, so now we've got the velocity vector, how do we get the position vector of the ship S? Well, let's suppose that after t hours it's moved to a point, say, like this one up here. This is the vector S and this is the ship after t hours, it's up here. Now, to get to this point, or any other point on this line, what we do is we go from the origin to the starting point, which we know was the vector 9i minus 6j. We go from the origin down to here and then we move this velocity vector along here until we get to this point here. In other words, we do 9i minus 6j plus t lots of the vector v. And that will get us the vector s. So we can write that in that therefore s is equal to 9i minus 6j plus t lots of the velocity vector v. And the velocity vector then is 3i plus 4j. And what does that give us? Well, all we need to do is group up the i components. And you can see we've got 3t here in the i direction. Group it up with the 9. And so we've got 3t plus 9 in the i direction. And as for the j components, we've got 4t here and minus 6j there. So we can say that that is 4t minus 6 in the j direction. And that gives us what we're asked to show. The position vector of the ship at any time t. And you can see that it works because let's say that t equals 4. If t equals 4 What's this going to be? 3 4s are 12, plus 9 
is 21, 21i, and if t is 4, 4 4 to 16 minus 6 is 10, we end up with 21i plus 10j. And you can see that is correct, because when t is 4, it's at b. We came down here and did four lots of the velocity vector. All right. OK, well, I hope you've been able to follow that, and that brings us now to the end of this part of the question.